Hi everyone, my name is Ildi and I am a fan of moist. It's the, the name, right? Um, you're watching this, you're probably either a moist fan or a family member maybe snooping. Hello, family member. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm talking to other Moist fans. So I have this box. I have these other boxes, but I have this box that I labeled Moist that has been sitting in my parents' basement for years and years and years. And I thought I would dig it out and go down memory lane. I believe it was the 25th anniversary of the release of So. Um, and so it reminded me that I have a whole stash of uh, stuff uh, down in the basement of my parents. So I'm like, give that back to me. I'll add it to the many other boxes that I have here and go through it. So first I wanted to say that I found this t-shirt and I, ugh, it smells like it's been in my parents' basement for two years. This is the back. It actually fits really nice. I'm not sure if I would be allowed to wear it to work because I don't know if any of you, I was 16, 15, no, 14 to 18-ish when I was a big, big, big Moist fan. And I don't think I really comprehended the name um, because I was going to get the word Moist tattooed on me, which I didn't. Um, and if you did, way to go you, but um, I didn't. And I never, I just, I guess I never really, it never bothered me as much as it has been funny since, I guess. Anyways, all of this to say that today we're going to go through my moist box. You see, like you can't see it with a straight face. Um, so moist box it is. So first thing I see is another moist t-shirt. And guess what? If you could see, David Usher signed it. Did I make this shirt? Guys, I think I might have made this shirt myself. Did I make this shirt? Does anyone else have a shirt like this? Did I make it? I might have made it. Um, I, was, I was taking communications class, so I don't know. Oh my words, this is gonna be a lot of me doing oh my words. Okay, this is much music. Oh, I hope the people don't get pissed off that they're in it. That's me right there. And that is David Usher. That's my friend. And these people I don't remember as much. If you are one of those people, hi, reach out. This wasn't much music. Oh, there's, there's Paul and Kevin right there. Oh yes, this was at a concert and oh my God, it's so dusty. This was at the concert in the warehouse. I mean, I am very sexy guys. I was a very sexy child. Look at that. <laughs> I have my braces. There's Paul. What was I wearing? Then I had this. I don't know where this is from, where I bought it or what it is, but it's David Usher singing into a microphone. Okay, so I would spend, like, I was 14, 15. I didn't have as many friends. I was living north of Toronto, and I would go down to Kensington Market. I would go down to all the, like, local, like, radio, not radio, um, like, CD stores and record stores and everything. And I always was looking for something special edition, moist. I don't know how I came to that. That's a thing. I don't know how I knew that there was stuff. But this is promotional, not for sale. Vinyl. It has push and morphine and machine punch through. So it's the machine push. I don't know what. The, oh, here. Push side A and side B would have morphine and machine punch through. It's from Chrysalis Records to 1994. There. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys. You know what's weird? It was such a big deal to like go to Much Music and get a glimpse or get a photo with David Escher or any of the guys. I um, And now, and like we would search so much. There wasn't really internet too much. And now that there's like internet and social media and 
I'm following David Usher on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Moist as a band on Twitter. And David Usher posts pictures of him like hiking. And I'm like, I would have killed for this kind of insight into one of my favorite bands and artists. So anyways, all this to say that this bottle is signed by David Usher. There it is, David Usher. Um, it was at the Much Music Video Awards. I don't remember what year, 1994 or 95 or 96. And he, um, it was a taped live. They were performing. I was in the crowd and he like had his water and then he threw it in the crowd and I caught it. I caught the water bottle. And then um, I took it backstage. I guess I met him or something and he signed it and I still have it. Oh my God. This is from someone from the UK, I believe, that was a Moist fan. 1997, she made me this birthday card. That's so sweet. Oh, then the same person a, a year later. I wonder what happened to her. I hope she's okay and she's doing good. Penny, I think her name. So if you see this, say hi. Oh, so there's my autograph of that. See, we might be here for a while sticker a moist sticker oh yeah remember the fan club is the fan club still together i don't even know but they would send you stuff like this you know i also worked in a music store so when we got like the creature poster and stuff oh what happened to that there was like a three-dimensional um poster when david does you know the cover and i don't know what happened to that i did have it because i got it from the store that i work at yeah, you can order order stuff. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Why didn't I get the hat and stuff? Should have got the hats. Edgefest 1996, Edgefest 1997. Oh, I did this in communications tech class in high school. Oh, I think I did do that t-shirt. Made a button. Moist. Molson Canadian Rocks. Why would I put Molson in there? Oh, sounds like cassette tapes to me. Bootlegs. Who remembers bootleg tapes? Like, can you fathom like going to a concert and like recording it and being so excited and trading bootleg tapes? Like how foreign is that? This like kids will never know this. Bootleg and interview. I don't know who this is. Moist, radio ad for Moist. Okay, I was so obsessive. I would anything, like a radio ad. Um, like, I'm talking obsessive, like OCD obsessive. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, someone said this to me. Radio ad for Moist, I Mother Earth's concert in Sask Saskatoon, January 24, 1997. Neil Young tour, Regina, Agrodome, October 26, 1996. And it has like, oh, all the songs. Music world, my conditioning, leave it alone, shotgun. So someone videotaped a re recording that they did at Music World. Moist EP limited edition. Who knew? CF uh, CFNY Rock Radio Network, one hour radio special. Half of the October interview on 102.1. Moist Warehouse 1997, which is where I went. Live at the Roxy LA and Moist at CFNY. The Jennykins incident, Moist at Music Plus. I don't know what that is. Moist Command Performance, including Leave It Alone in Thai. World premiere of Creature 102.1 The Edge. Um, I was out of country and someone taped it for me when it was when it premiered. David and Mark on CFNY 1996, October 4th. Hey guys from Moist, if you're watching this, you want any of it? Sell it to you for good money. Whatever money. Moist Creature Live in Concert, March 11, Giovanni's friend. I don't know who Giovanni is. But hello. Uh, Edmonton radio interview with Mark, December 94. Radio ad for Saskatoon Moist in Cincinnati at Bogarts. Did anyone have a school? School book. <laughs> oh my God, that's Dishwalla. That's Moist. Moist. Is that David Usher? Yes. Metallica, Backstreet Boys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mm. 
moist more moist uh i guess david usher signed my booklet how many autographs do i have from david usher oh yeah okay so this is the photo i took and i remember being like oh my god it's such a good photo and that's the bottle that i have here that i showed you i would like to read you something i wrote typed up i wrote this to spotlight much music at 299 queen street west dear spotlight much music how are you <laughs> I love your show and I love your station. The reason I'm writing is because I would very much like to thank you for helping Moist gain their well-deserved recognition. They are the best Canadian band ever and I am not exaggerating. I know you were the first station willing to air the band's videos. I love Moist, no kidding. If it wasn't for your station, I and millions of others would never have known who Moist is. Since then, I have taped everything you have already aired about the band. I also bought their silver album. I love it. It is the best tape I have ever spent money on. Oh, I was 15. This is in 95. However, I still don't feel I know enough about them. My biggest problem is, okay, so I have a big problem here, guys. I don't know where I can get t-shirts, stickers, hats, or any other stuff about the band. Sadly, I don't even know where they are going to give concerts. Sad, isn't it? All I do know is that they are touring Europe right now. I would greatly appreciate if you could please, please, please send me more information about Moist. You would not believe how much I've searched for Moist stuff, especially t-shirts. That is true. That is true. That's what I spent my weekends on. I first saw a guy in my school wearing a Moist t-shirt. I, follow I followed him around school in my school wearing a moist t-shirt. I followed him around school and asked where he got it from. He sat at their concert. I felt stupid since I didn't even know about the concert. I still don't, help. I have also called all my local music stores asking about moist. They don't have any stuff, know any stuff about them. Then I took my mom to a flea market thinking that they might have something. They didn't. Two of my friends said that they saw t-shirts and other moist stuff downtown. So my mom went downtown to look, but came back empty handed. Then I thought for a while and came to a conclusion. Since your, your station started promoting Moist, I thought you guys could help me. So please stop this madness. Where can I get Moist souvenirs? I think they're called merchandise only, but okay. Please, please, please send me all this information about Moist before I go mad. I know I can count on you guys since you know and helped Moist so much. It is great that you are helping independent new Canadian ba bands gain recognition. Keep, keep up the good work. You are the best. Yours truly and thankfully. Ildi, number one Moist fan. I am a girl. In case you were wondering, it is hard to tell because of my name. I know. Now that's a whole nother like video right there. P.S. I think singer David Usher is hot. <laughs> Don't send me the t-shirt. Please just tell me where I can get it. Please. Thanks again. March 6th, 1995. I'm not even kidding you. This is... I wrote this. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. I think I want to take a photo of it. Guys. More moist stuff. Okay, first of all, I when I found this, I was like, holy crap. So the letter was in 1995. Um, I don't think I was going downtown by myself as much, but after that I did. Who has a moist patch? Who has one? Me. Who has more stickers? I do. Don't be jealous. Another record. <laughs> Push and miss you. UK only. See, this is what I mean. Like, I would scour, like, all the big stores, record stores, independent, otherwise, on Queen Street, on Kensington, everywhere else. And there. Those are the things I found. Ooh. Maybe I didn't do that t-shirt. I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of stickers that say moist on it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Someone sent me this. It was in French. Moist, le guide des routes, en couvert. I don't speak French. 
I know David lives in Montreal now, but there you go. Something in French. Okay, I should make this clear. So in my obsessive days, so probably 95, 96, um, internet was very like just starting. I started a website, a moist fan website. There was a few of us going around. Um, I don't recall the name of the website or what it's, I don't remember any of it, but I know that I went to a Hawkeye school to learn how to HTML. To this day, I don't know how to like do anything, but I learned HTML and created and done a website like from scratch, like HTML full on. And what I would do is ask people to send me stuff. So send their photos and I would give props to them. I think I did like lyric breakdowns. I think I did and, and analyzing lyrics and stuff. But basically I had a lot of friends through Moist who, uh, and I still have a few of them to this day, um, who would send me stuff. So this would be like someone sending me a French article. Um, I had someone from Thailand, from the UK. It was really, really cool. And if any of you see it and you remember any of a, my website or anything or we were friends, please reach out. I'll be honest, I'm still a purist. I just like the first, I really like the first CD. This is when I went to the edge. Ah, David. I know I was so proud when this picture came. David, I'm telling you guys, we should all get together and you guys can go through this. Someone, Penny. Again, Penny was a good friend. I wonder what happened to her. We start stopped writing or something. Oh, my newsletter. He's gonna clean up this mess after. Ildi from Andrea. Who's Andrea? Alyssa. <gasps> Alyssa. Okay, here Ildiko, what's up? Well, here's part one to the package. In your possession, you have many pics and lots of articles that have brought me wonderful use and I hope you provide the same. I hope you enjoy them coming up to your door soon. Videos, interview, bootlegs, and much more. Guys, all moist related articles and things. Like, that's insane. You know what, I did go to this. Did I go to this? Oh my God, when they went to uh, Malasmus Square. Did I not go to Malasmus Square? Yeah, she like photocopied all her photos. We were like nuts. And I don't know why it was like the ideal situation for that. This came from Thailand. Aaron, Lissa, who are these people? Ah! Okay, this is, I do have an album. Although I don't know why. Okay, there used to be a store on Queen Street that sold photographs. I think they were upstairs and it's just like photos of famous people. And I finally, I found one. And then in communication class, in addition to the t-shirts and buttons I made, I made a certificate of excellence for being the best band ever. Yeah, these are the EMI photos. Just anything that says moist, like anything. Like, I don't know if you remember like Columbia House, like there's a picture of the album, like I would cut it out. It's the strangest thing. Why do I have their autographs like 20 bazillion times? There, I think, I don't know whose signature that is. But then look, to Ildi, Mark, David, and I've tore it out, I met them on Saturday, March 25th. Monday, September 30th, Moist at the Rivoli to Ildi. Like, look at it. Moist and Neil. I think this was at the that same Much Music Video Awards thing. On Thursday, September 28th, Moist and Trouble Charger will be performing one song each for the sixth annual Much Music Video Awards. Sixth. This wristband will give you access to City TV Much Music. Congratulations! 1994's winners and losers. Top three albums and why. Moist Silver, made on a shoestring. It's raw yet melodic. And three singles deep. I'm still singing along, is what someone said. <gasps> There's my wristband. There's Bill Walichka. There's David Usher again, like that's the, the thing. 
the, the cup I got. Oh, Moist with Crash Vegas and Trouble Chargers, August 29th, see any band shell. Um, and so I just have some pics from that. Look how packed it was. Oh my God. I went to see them a few years ago and it wasn't that packed. Okay, then this is the actual There's Much Music Award thing. There's Kevin, there's David Usher. Just some more articles. There's Kevin. Yikes. Okay. Now we're moving on to Creature. There's the CFNY Edge 102. Proud. Mark. And then David. Okay, look at this girl's camera. I mentioned that I did a website. Um, and so a lot of people would be sending me things, um, from all over the world to include it. If you have any idea what that website was, please let me know. Guys, moist newsletter 11 and 12. I'm actually going to look at this stuff here. I'm very sad that my website wasn't mentioned here. That's really mean because you know what? I think I had a really good website. So shame on you, Moist, for not putting me in there. Even though I don't remember what it was, but still. Okay, this is from Erin in Edmonton. <gasps> she made Moist zines. Oh my God, that's amazing. Issue one, 1997. This is amazing. She made like a whole, she did a whole thing. I hope she got recognition for it. Thank you to Ildi for the articles, Charlie, Sasha, Art, Alyssa, Andrea, Tiff. Oh my goodness, Ildi for being the homie that she is. I am a homie. Who is this? Erin. Erin, who are you and is this yours? Can you hear the dogs outside? This is amazing. This is a moist fanzine and another one and another one. A moist fanzine. On October 17, 1996, I had the opportunity to do an interview with the one and only Jeff Pierce, bassist from Moist. He was very pleasant and it was probably one of the best interviews I've done. I really hope it doesn't suck. Here goes. This is amazing. Wet ham hamster love? What does this say? Does this say wet hamster love? I don't think that makes sense, does it? Unless it does. Sea touch feel lyrics. This is crazy. This is amazing. Does anyone remember these? Did she ever do more? Erin, please reach out to me. I love your stuff. Wow, me and I. There's something for me and I. Holy shit balls, what is this? I think I emailed EMI to get all their articles or something. Look at this. This is all, this is all moisture related. You'll probably notice that it's getting darker and darker and this has taken me way too long. I didn't realize it was going to be that long. It's just one box, but I guess it's a lot of paperwork. Again, something from Dawn in Saskatchewan. If any of the guys from Moist is watching this, and I hope you are, Yes, I love you and loved you dearly. But I think you can use this more than I can. So if you would like to buy all of this off me for your like collectible memor memorabilia, moist museum, reach out to me. Again, just do you see what I'm saying? Like, Everything moist related from all over the world. It's insane. Why is there so much? I would tell my younger self to like, calm down, calm down. How do I say this? So another band that I love is Depeche Mode. And that band, they have cornered the market. They know their fans are obsessive. That band releases so many of their own like bootleg type stuff, remixes, remixes of the remixes of the remixes, the DJ set, the, the whatever video, like Depeche Mode knows how to make the coin. I'm just saying, I love them, but you know, I think enough is enough. But that's just 
near her there. Moist newsletter number 10 was just one page, I suppose. So much moist. And you know what? Like, I remember, I actually, I feel like I might have paid for some of this because not everyone photocopies like the good quality paper. Not everyone photocopied like um, color. Like, this is a color photocopy. Like, someone blew this up. It looks like it's from the fifth, like the 30s with the like. Oh, I remember this. Someone photocopied, color photocopied their own photos of Dave. Like, people were printing out websites because we didn't, like, what? How many times do I need this picture of David? David, do you want one of these pictures? I'll give it to you. You can give it to your family and they can frame it. How come I didn't print out my own website? What's up with that? Like, we printed out a website. Like, what? who does that? Why do we do that? I wrote another letter. It's funny that I went into research, essentially, eventually, somewhat. I found Tanya Nagovsky from EMI Canada, and I wrote Tanya a letter. My name is Ildi, and I'm a very devoted and excited Moist fan. Moist are one of are of course one of the many great bands signed under the EMI label. Since hearing about the new album Creature, many Moist fans, including myself, have been overjoyed. However, to my disappointment, I have not seen any Moist merchandise anywhere, so I'm curious to find out where I can get these great stuff. I was hoping that you would be able to send me something such as a poster or a sticker, hopefully regarding the new album. Some friends have told me about a really big Moist poster which features all the band members on it. In my eyes, that is a rare thing because I have not seen a poster with the band members on it. I would really like to get this poster if possible. If a payment is required, I will more than, more than gladly fund it. If not, I'd like to know where I'd be able to get this or other great merchandise regarding Moist. I thank you for your time and patience and hopefully your cooperation. Thank you. Oh boy. And I think they actually did send me Moist stuff. This is ridiculous. I mean, the amount of research and like, and you know what? I still got A's in school, so you can't say that it took away from that. All I can smell is the mustiness of this shirt. <laughs> Woo! Stinkies. Moist. 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 Kind of insane like no amount of human should have this much moist stuff my other question to everyone who was um who sent me this stuff who was just as crazy as i was do you still have your stuff like what did you do with all your moist things what did you do with your moist things like moist articles it's not normal like it's, you'd think i was like some lawyer so EMI did send me, so I think that letter to Tanya worked. Way to go, me. Moist newsletter 14. David Escher, Little Songs. Is the Moist fan club still together? So I guess what my question is. From Andrea. Ildi from Andrea. Andrea, say hi. Ooh, Moist after show. It's like a weird material. I think that's mine. Another thing is... um. I was a big Paul fan. I was sad that he left. Does anyone know what Paul's up to? Is he still around somewhere? Uh, okay. Moist I Mother Earth, The Warehouse, Saturday, February 1st, 1997. Moist I Mother Earth, The Warehouse, Sunday, February 2nd. And Moist I Mother Earth, The Warehouse, March 11th. I've seen the same show three times. Oh yeah, and I got the after show thing. It came in like an envelope. Guys, I was really cool or something. Paul, you're probably wondering why I'm giving you a pair of drumsticks, which you probably won't ever use. Well, to make a long story short, my friend pointed out that you must be sick and tired of giving away autographed drumsticks to your fans. So I decided that it's time you should get a pair of autographs. I gave Paul a pair of drumsticks that I autographed for him. I mean, you can't beat this cool. Oh my God, 
we were for the longest time wondering what David's ethnicity was. Like that was like a whole thing. Oh dear, I wrote a whole thing, I wrote a whole thing. Okay, I wrote this in keyboarding class. So in grade keyboarding class, we were you learning to type. So I wrote this because we needed to like practice our thing. Moist, 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 moist is the top. Saturday, March 25th, 1995 was the best day of my life. By faith or some other means of the supernatural, I met my all-time favorite band, Moist. The story goes as follows. This, I'm so glad I wrote it because I don't remember. I have been searching for a t-shirt for the longest time. I have been going downtown for three straight weeks looking for it. On the second week of our trip, we went down into City TV Much Music Building. There we met Don, the security guy. We talked to him for about two hours since we had nothing to do. Around six, we were seen on television because we were standing outside while they were taping the news. That is beside the point. This past week, I wanted to go again because all the store owners were saying that they were going to have the t-shirts. The night before, I had a dream about getting a t-shirt, so I was confident that I would get it. I could only go with this person because no one else was able to go. We went anyways, and it is a good thing we did. It was a sunny March day when I left my home in search of a moist t-shirt. My friend and I left for the subway around 1 p.m. We went up to Wellesley and headed for the two shops which promised us the t-shirts. We went in in the shops but came back empty-handed. I was very upset. We decided to go Kensington but we weren't sure how to get there. We decided to visit Don and ask him how to get to Kensington. We went to the reception desk but since Don was busy on the phone, we talked. we walked around the breakfast television area. I looked, oh, I remember this. Oh my God, it's like a flashback. And then we turned around and David Usher was there. Oh my God, okay. I looked around and I happened to look over to the right where all the other shows took place. I saw two familiar guys being interviewed. I looked again and again and I could not believe my eyes. It was David Usher and Mark McAway from my favorite band, Moyes. I started crying and walking around. We went back to Don and he said, guess who's here? Then I knew that it was moist. We waited until the end of the interview. Don went up to David and told him about us. He then went up to us and introduced himself like I didn't know who he was. We told him our t-shirt story and asked him for his autograph. This is what he told us. Yes, I know. We have to get the t-shirts out soon. Don't worry. We will. When we asked him for his autograph, he said as follows. I will never forget it. Can I use your back? That's right. And I had to like lean forward and he signed it on my back. I, of course, said yes, and that is where he signed the autographs. We thanked him, then he left to do another interview. We hung around the area, not believing what just had happened. I watched the interview on the small TV that was at the reception nest. The interviewer took out... Oh my god, I remember this! The interviewer took out a letter and read it. This is what he said. Ildi from Thornhill wants to know more information about you guys. I could not believe it. They read the letter I wrote a couple of weeks ago asking for more information about Moist. I couldn't believe it. They read it on air while Moist was there and so was I. Oh my God, guys, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like the excitement that it was when I was there. Like I totally flashback remember. Like I was like, you're reading my letter. Oh my God, and I met him. Ah. I started screaming, saying that it was my letter. Don then let Jack... That my friend and I go backstage where the interview was taking place. I told them that it was my letter and got the guitar guy, well, Mark's autograph as well. The interviewer asked if he pronounced my name correctly. David Escher said, you are the number one Vance. It is true. I am and always will be. I love their music. Others do as well since they won a Juno for best new group. They are. That was a day I will never forget and I will always look back at as the best day of my life. I am so glad that I typed this up because I've had few run-ins with them and I don't think I would have remembered the nuances, but that was ridiculous that I was, we're just happy to be around. We're looking for t-shirts and then we were just hanging out and then they, they were, and then they read our letters to them and I'm like, what? How giddy like the schoolgirl that I was then. Oh, this is so sweet. I love this. I'm very happy about finding this. Oh, that's so good. This is all moist articles. I don't think David Usher has that many stuff from his own stuff. When David Usher just pops up. The Now magazine and like all the concerts. I used to love looking through this and seeing if moist was playing. 
like just again more moist stuff moist 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 someone should do like shots every time i say the word moist yeah if you're watching this i mean i had to tape this in multiple steps i mean the amount of moist stuff a whole afternoon went by more stuff oh okay this is from a friend and she's still a friend which is amazing look at this she categorized every moist article, the date, and how many pages. What are FBSs? FB. It's on Facebook. I mean, look at this. Ooh, those are pictures. Articles. Ooh, what is all this? Not just articles, but like even just advertisements. Like she even dated them. Canadian audience and sing singing silver lining for a moist cloud. Vancouver rock band Moist played internet. On the internet. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Vancouver band Moist has become the first Canadian rock act to perform a live concert on the internet. The show, broadcast Wednesday night from Atlanta, was also the first live concert in the internet's World Wide Web, which is readily accessible to millions of people around the globe. The previous cyberspace shows by the Rolling Stones and other bands could only be viewed by a small number of people with access to a highly technical internet carrier called the M-Bone. Taking... <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine? If David is watching this, what's up with these pants? What's up with this pan? See? My friend color... Uh photocopy this is amazing slippery when wet moist david um signing some autographs more david autographing david signing some autographs instead of me collecting things that are around me that i have access to now we've reached out to the world and taken the uh, obsessiveness like give me not just every article in a toronto or canadian newspaper give me every article ever written about moist like it went a little far if you ask me i remember that look at him with a cigarette i was a content creator before youtube guys i had the right idea i should have stuck to it two ideas for the website one is are you a fan of music or a fan of looks do looks matter the next one is create the next moist t-shirt please and i asked people to submit that's hilarious i wrote opinion pieces David and the other guys, a new type of fan. What? I am annoyed and I have a darn good reason for it. I know it sounds corny, but I must say that the music scene is not what it used to be. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Ooh, remember Sunrise? I used to work at Sunrise. I mean, if that's not art, I don't know what is. I don't know who wrote this. I mean, who drew this? Let's see. Oh, cool. Megan, good stuff. I think I, that's right. I, I, I asked people to submit stuff too. Photos. <laughs> that's me. I bought them some weird little guitar from the dollar store for stupid reasons, thinking they would remember me. Moist, July 17th, 2000, no, 2000, 1997. Has anyone seen my little guitar? And do you know who these people are? And I took a picture of a sign that says moist. Like, honestly, you should see the craziness that's around me. Who remembers this? Negatives, who remembers negatives? Oh my God. Me and Rick the Temp with my braces and my signed moist shirt. <laughs> this is the quality of the photos, guys. Look at this. Yeah, that's how good that is. Yeah, great. <gasps> Edwin from I Mother Earth. Hold on, I'm trying to think. There it is. This is really Canadian content, people. Canadian content. Oh, festival days. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this is Canadian music, not just moist, but this was my wall. Are you ready? There's a door and like all the po all the articles, everything up there. I, do you remember how I said I signed, I gave um, drumsticks to Paul and I signed it? 
There's Paul with the teddy bear and the drumsticks. Oh, sorry, my ring light. There's Kevin. Thanks for the lovely picture. Jeff. And then we're almost at the end. Congratulations, you made it this far. What happens to old websites? Like, I don't think I took mine down. Is it floating? Where's all the info in there and stuff? I can't believe I doodled, guys. I never doodle. Did, honestly, did I get more autographs? How many times can a person get autographs? Seriously, girl. You need to get a life. I also have a pick. I'm guessing it's from Mark, but I'm not sure. Look at this. Moist and Matthew Goodband, Sears Theater, Friday, December 17, 1999. You know what? This Penny girl and I were good friends. I don't know why we lost touch, but Penny, if you see all of this, say hi. Or some wet shirtless or moist David Ushers. Uh, letter, like just letters. It's so strange. Well, it's not strange. That's how we used to communicate. Remember those days? And somebody had a archives of some sort, moist, a moist fanzine. That's cute. I hope, I hope these people aren't mad that I share some of this. Thailand. I got a Thai card from a Moist fan. Oh, red looks good on him. Sunrise is done. HMV is done. I think Music World still exists. I've worked at all three. You really literally are sending Moist, the word Moist on an envelope. Like how hilarious is that? Ooh, I went to all three of these shows at the warehouse. Moist Tea Party and I Mother Earth. Oh my god, I would kill to watch that right now. Amazing, amazing. I did go to a show, a lot, lot, two shows. I went to the one at the Phoenix here, awesome. And the one at the Horseshoe, which was... But I went by myself. I've lost all my moist friends. So, if you're a moist fan, and you're in the Toronto area, hit me up. Without, like killing and stuff. I, I, I don't want strangers. I feel like there's another one I have of these, but I'm going to sign off. Thanks for sitting through this. If you're a moist head, moist fan, a moisty, did we have nicknames? I don't even know. Um, please comment, reach out. Um, if you want to buy any of this stuff, except for these two, you know, um, yeah, we had some good time. I would love to chat with anyone. Comment below, please. It was the highlight of my teenage years, for sure. I had some good times and I really focused on Canadian music. I was a big 90s music fan and um, and definitely moist. It got me out of on a lot of shows. I got to meet a lot of people. Um, learned HTML, creativity, and entrepreneur. Well, I didn't make any money, but like, my lazy ass would never do any of this now. So, and if you like any of the pillows, I sell them on my online store, but that's no you heard there. Forcharlie.com. I'll tag that below as well. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope to put more nostalgic videos up here. And until then, bye.